Hello, John here, and welcome to another video. I'm going to do a tag video because I've never done one of these before. And we're going to leave the actual questions up on screen so you can look at them. And if you want, you can try and guess what I'm going to say for some of them. I don't know. 50 random TMI tag questions. I'm not going to tag anyone at the end of it because, you know, who does that these days? And also, you need to know people to do that. Uh, so I'm just going to get in and, in, you know more about me now, but this is just a random little bit of more information about me. Number one, what are you currently wearing? Well, I've got a black pair of Slazenger jogging bottoms. Um, a black jumper from b q from when I used to work there. Um, black and white socks, maybe black socks, black and white slippers and black underwear. So basically, black. Um, have you ever been in love? Um, yes, once. Have you ever had a terrible breakup? Yes, once. <laughs> and that wasn't with the person that I was in love with. That was with just another person that I was at school with and it all went possibly wrong and I've never spoken to her ever since. How tall are you? Um, that's a good question. I'm not... Oh, well, sorry, how old are you first? Don't re get me reading glasses on. How old are you? I am 38 and a half. I'll be 39 in this September. How tall are you? Um, good question. I'm not entirely sure. I think I am about 5 foot 7. However much that is in inches or centimetres, I'm not entirely sure. How much do you weigh? Um, <laughs> you will laugh if you if I was to tell you that. Um, I weigh about 18 stone. I am a chunky mofo. Um, honestly though, I, I do weigh quite a bit. It is an issue. Um, it is a health issue. It's nothing serious, but it has made me type 2 diabetic. So, um, I need to sort something out about that, really. Do you have any piercings? Well, as you can see, I have a beaker, two E to be little holes. I used to have my septum done. I used to have two there, and I used to have a snake bite. But when I went away, I had to take all those ones out. However, I've recently saved up enough money, and I plan on getting them redone. So do I have any piercings? Yes and no. One more though. Do I have any tattoos? I have one. I have a vampire glyph on the back of my neck. Where you're supposed to have vampire glyphs. If you don't know what a vampire glyph is, watch the film Blade, Blade 2, Blade Trinity. It is the little logos that belong to each house, vampire house. They all have their own little logo. I have one of those, I've designed it myself. Um, and that is my tattoo. I want more though. Um, I've got a few designs on the PC which I want to look into getting. Um, what's your favourite drink? Pepsi Max. Possibly Pepsi Max Cherry. What's my favourite song? That would be So by Static X. Um, when I'm feeling kind of like, mm, um, it is also Mum by Linkin Park, because um, that sums up that, that whole era for me. Um, also, basically anything by the Prodigy, everyone who knows me when I, if you watch my videos from the start will know that I used to play the Prodigy's Fire Starter in the background. I don't do that anymore, I wish I would. Um, I still might at some point, I might do a bit of a regen, since all Keith's died now, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, Five Starter, So and Numb, they're my three favourite songs, I can listen to them all day long. What's my Zodiac sign? I am a Virgo, I'm the Virgin Virgo. Um, how long does it take you in the shower? Um, depends if what I'm doing with this thing here. If I'm leaving it, it can just be 5-10 minutes. If I'm washing it, 
it'll be about 15 if I'm co-washing it or washing it and conditioning it it'll be a bit longer but generally no more than 15 minutes what's my favorite show um, that's I don't really watch much telly these days because um, my schizophrenia has caused me to fall out of favour with TV um, but when I can watch TV I love to watch Pointless because I love quiz shows and me and my mum will try and uh, do each other trying to get Pointless answer I love NCIS but recently people have been leaving the original cast and it's not felt the same anymore so I've kind of got off it a little bit um, what's my favourite bands? I think I pretty much covered that in my favourite song. Static X, love them. Love the fact they're bringing out a new album. I'm a bit annoyed that they're bringing out a new album because at the end of the day, it's not Wayne Static anymore. Because he's dead. Um, love a bit of animosity going on about that thing for the fans. Um, I love The Prodigy. Again, that's a band that I'll never get to see properly because of Keith. Um, Linkin Park, again another band I never really get to see again because of Chester. Uh, I think it's their fault, you know, they've had their own personal grievances and which is why they've both kind of, well all three of them have killed themselves. So um, it's not their fault, I don't blame them. Um, but I really kind of blame myself really for not getting to see them when they were at the height of their popularity. Something I really miss. Um, it's going to sound daft, but yeah, I do miss my dad. He died when I was eight. Um, where do you go when you're sad? Probably to my room. It's, I'm pretty much sad all my life anyway, so there's no real kind of like, mm, when you're sad. Um, but yeah, if I'm kind of particularly upset if it's like first thing when I get up I will stay in my room for quite a while or if it's like in later in the day I'll go to bed earlier um, how long does it take to get up in the morning or get ready in the morning I won't know because I don't do mornings I don't up until after 12 and then it's just literally a case of up get dressed come downstairs take my meds and that's it but have you ever been in a physical fight no what turns you on <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to answer that one. What turns you off? Um, actually, actually, what turns you on? Goths. <laughs> I'm saying it. I know, I keep going on about like, me being a goth and it not looking like I am. But honestly, I love the gothic culture. Um, what turns you off? Trendy people. What quality do I look for on a partner? Um, just someone who, who I don't feel awkward around. Um, that's going to be quite awkward because they suffer from social anxiety so I feel awkward around most people so anyone who can make me feel at ease with them and not feel um, any anxiety what's my favourite colour? I think that goes without saying black loud music or soft? Um, loud music played softly yes um, because I do respect my neighbours um, they're both quite elderly. Um, one's, I think, in the 70s, possibly 80s. Another is like 87, 88, something like that. 86, 87, 88. You know, and um, we get on with them. I don't really want to upset them. So I play my music either with my headphones on, which I will play then quite loudly, or I will play it quite softly. Favourite quote. Um, this comes from Andrew Martin. Who is the android in Bison Tedro Man? And he says, There must be a reason that I am the way I am. That is something I have on my website of my quote. Um, it is something I've spent all my life trying to figure out. You know, I have so many different unique qualities um, that most people don't know about because I don't really talk about them much. Um, there's the auto core sexuality. Um, there's the schizophrenia, there's the depressions, um, all those kind of things. Um, I'm really a bit, bit of a mixed bag of trouble, basically. So I tend to, um, I 
tend to find that quote quite interesting. Favourite actor? Um, Michael Keaton. Um, that might come with a bit of a surprise to people, but I love Batman. That's obviously, if you know me, you'll know I love Batman, but he is my favourite Batman. Um, he is Beetlejuice. He plays a crazy guy in um, Pacific Height. He is a brilliant actor. He has. He, he can look into his eyes and you can see there's a lot going on. Um, the reason I joined YouTube was to improve my self-confidence. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but yeah, I didn't do it to be the next PewDiePie. I didn't do it to be the next big thing. I didn't do it for anything other than to improve myself as a person. Um, the whole social anxiety and stuff like that and depression, you know, I figured it would be a really cool way to kind of overcome it. Do I have any fears and what are they? I'm afraid of spiders. Not in a kind of, ah, spider. But in a kind of, ooh, spider. Um, I don't like heights. You can catch me up a ladder kind of really high up. Um, it's not the height that I like, that I'm afraid of. It's falling down from the height. Once I'm up high and I know I'm safe, I quite like the view. Um, but yeah, uh, moment the last time was last thing that made me cry. Um, possibly when I last played The Last of Us on PS4. Um, yeah, I'm sure you all know the scene right at the beginning. The daughter dies. Bit of a shock there that was. Um, but yeah, it, even though she's only in that game for the first, what, 10, 15 minutes, you really get to know her and you really feel for her. The meaning behind my YouTube name, well, Vampire, I spell it Vampire differently, but it's pronounced Vampire 2109. Uh, the 2109 was my candidate number when I was at school for my exams. So that's a number that I've pretty much stuck with me. I use it everywhere I go. It is not my PIN number. That is something completely different. I'm not that daft. Um, the vampire bit is just because I've always been into vampires um, from a little like, young age. Um, the last time I said I loved someone, I don't think I've ever really said that recently. Not for... I write it occasionally on cards. That counts, it would be Mother's Day. Um, the last book I read was um, a good friend of mine wrote a book. Um, he's called Lord Zeon. Um, and he's written like a little autobiography, like from birth to a certain time in his, his life. Um, and that was a really interesting read because I learned quite a lot of stuff about him that I didn't know. Um, the book I'm currently reading is none, because in general I don't read books. Um, though I have recently purchased um, Sp the Spawn graphic novels, so I need to make a start on reading those. The last show I watched, um, that would be... Um, oh, what do they mean by the last show I watched? If they mean the last TV show, um, that would probably be um, that I paid attention to would have been pointless and that was yesterday the last place you were what does that even mean the last place you were I've always been in Burton always like my hometown I've actually always been there except for when I went away the last sport you played athletics um, Believe it or not, the size of me, I used to be a 100 meter sprinter. The last person I talked to was my mum, because she's the only person I talked to. Um, last song you sang, I tend not to sing. You do not want to hear me sing. Um, Favourite chat up line. <laughs> um, to be honest, I don't really have a chat up line. I've heard lots of people's do their chat up lines and some of them are quite humorous 
Um, but I don't have a chocolate lime because I don't interact with people. Um, when I was at school, there was um, um, it's that like a ladder in the title, it's like a stairway to heaven. No, that's quite a cheesy one. Um, do you have a crush? No. The relationship between you and the person you last text. Um, the last person I text was my mum. Um, my favourite food. Um, now this might surprise quite a lot of you. Because um, you are probably thinking McDonald's or Burger King or pizza. Or those of you who know that I love chilies will probably think of chili con carne or curry. But it's not. It is a chicken salad wrap. I could eat those for days and they are healthy. Literally, a tortilla wrap, iceberg lettuce, spring onions, cucumbers, um, nice kind of cooked warm chicken, um, a little bit of light mayonnaise. It's got to be the light mayonnaise, otherwise it's the that, that tips over the edge. And a little sprinkling of cheddar. Um, all wrapped up and eat them and I can eat them and I can eat them and I can eat them. Um, what was the last time you kissed someone? Um, okay, revelation. I have never been kissed. Not on the lips. Um, one of my girlfriends when I was at school kissed me on my cheek. Um, I then dated another girl when I was at work and she also kissed me on my cheek. But I have never actually had a kiss. Last time you were insulted? Um, probably not for a very long time. Probably when I was... Um, working at the co-op and I had like my goatee and around here loads of arrogant kids at the time would always kind of laugh at me because I had a goatee and like oh goatee 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 um, which I didn't bother you know it didn't it didn't affect me um, oh I must run out favorite food place you want to visit Whitby I love Whitby I go there all the time but if it's a new place I want to visit I want to visit Romania, the Carpathian Mountains, because that's where Dracula lives. Um, favourite flavour of sweet? Ooh, it depends on how you define sweet. Um, possibly cola cubes. What instruments do you play? I don't play any instruments. Favourite piece of jewellery? Um, that would be the either the Viking Norse compass necklace choker thing that I've got, which is upstairs at the moment, or my um, Norse alphabet ring. Um, at the moment, I'm quite heavily into Norse and Viking stuff. Um, that's a, one of my tattoo ideas to have the Norse Viking compass um, tattooed on my shoulder um, have you ever used it yes i have well, that's a bit of a daft question what would be your favorite piece of draw if you didn't use it the last time you hung out with anyone was when i got my a level results and that was 20 years ago um would you answer any of these questions next who should answer any questions next? like i said i'm not going to do that of course that's just you know, you need to know people and no one really bothers doing that kind of stuff these days anyway. Um, so yeah, that is 50 TMI tag question things. I've got a bunch of others like these that I'm going to do over the next however long I can be bothered to do them over. Um, just a little bit of information about the website. is It is called rootreport.com and they do all types of different tags. You've got um, a whole section up here, look, around here. Um, questions, tag questions, interesting questions to ask. Um, so yeah, I've got a whole bunch of these that I can do. Um, and hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, that was quite revealing for some of the stuff. Um, people don't know quite a lot of this stuff about me. Um, I doubt any of you knew that I've never been kissed. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, 
if you want, you can answer these questions um, in the in the comments, um, or do whatever. You know, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.